at in the users of Reddit, what's your best, craziest story that involved a Tinder date? Chatted with a girl for about a week, and then she just didn't respond to my last message. Whatever, it happens, if she lost interest, whining at her isn't going to get her interested again. Two weeks later she messages me out of nowhere, what the hell? Do you have a girlfriend? Ah number. Why would I be on Tinder if I had a girlfriend? Don't lie to me. I can tell you have a girlfriend. That's why you haven't messaged me for two weeks. I met this guy on Tinder and he ended up making me laugh beyond the life. I love it. He was funny, nice and we ended up having a bunch of friends in common. We lived near each other and after two weeks of talking we decided to meet. We met on Good Friday at a new pizza joint and we both mutually decided that it was too packed with religious freaks try on not to eat meat. We went to a sports grill ordered beer to get loose and we hit it off. We decided to continue on to the next sports grill to order french fires, again it was good friday and we were local, if our parents caught us eating meat we would both have our asses handed to us, I'm 26 and he is 30, so we had the best fries and beer and we started to talk about what we were good at, our accomplishments etc. I started to joke about how I am really really good at those drop claw machines, like I really am good at them. I usually win on the first go, after talking a bit he went to go use the restroom. He came back with a grin and told me he spotted two claw machines in the back game room. I contained myself and waited till we left, we walked past it and he handed me a dollar and told me to have at it, so naturally I go in on it with him right next to me. I can tell he is getting ready to comfort me when I lose. So the claw drops and picks up a giant stuffed koala. He looked me dead in the eye and told me he could never see or speak to me again. He had flashbacks about draw bears, frown. Why take it out on me? Because from now on, he would think of draw bears every time he saw your face. It's not you, it's Australia. I'm Australian, can confirm. Girl comes over to my house we hit it off go get sushi come back bang the bejesus out of each other all night then she leaves the next day and we never spoke again. It's happened a few times like that. Isn't that what Tinder is for? Yay. It took a while but I finally found one that I decided to keep around. We have been dating for a year now tongue. I made a reddit account ages ago but never use it because I never post anything but I just had to share my story, I starting using tinder back in november, I matched this guy who I thought was just the hottest thing alive, we talked for about 2 weeks and he lived an hour away so we decided to meet up, we did the whole dinner and movie thing and I thought I had never met such a gentleman, it was literally love at first sight. Flash forward 6 months later and I'm 12 weeks pregnant with his second kid and just left him due to violent behaviors, so that's how that ended up, luckily he's getting counseling, who would have thought my life would have changed so much because of tinder. Took a girl out for drinks and not food, because tinder, one of my most favorite topics of conversation on first dates from online sites is weirdest date, most girls are sane enough to share a light hearted story and keep the time that guy stalked them for a month closer to their heart, plus, I always share a story about how this girl told me she had herpes over dinner, it achieves three things, one, it gets them to laugh, two, it shows that no matter how fucked up they think they are, there are people who have it worse, and 3, it shows that I'm clean and gets them thinking about sex. So anyway, I'm telling my herpes story, and I get to the punchline, then she tells me she has herpes, and start laughing, I've told this story so many times, I kinda know how people will react, well, this girl doesn't laugh, in fact, she kinda looks away shamefully, I'm taken aback, how can you not find that story funny? Question mark, unless you have, oh, she closed her tab and left. Had a few mundane tinder dates, but have had some terrible tinder messaging experiences. I had to stop giving my phone number to guys because I'd get loads of unsolicited dick pics. I matched with someone on tinder who lived close. We didn't even plan on meeting but we randomly bumped into each other in my local town like 3 days after, 
one thing led to another and we ended up having sex, cool cool. Met someone on Tinder who came to a house party I was at, very awkward and nothing happened, for the next 4 months we continued to hang out every Wednesday and turned into great friends, meeting her helped me get over my depression and I wouldn't trade that for a hookup. I've had pretty normal Tinder experiences, for the most part, there are a few exceptions though, the first hookup I had from it was going over to someone's place to hang out and got a blowjob, we meet up every once in a while because she really likes sucking my dick and isn't looking for anything serious, I had plans with another one to meet up for drinks and hang out for a while, she asked for a rain check and I was like meh, whatever, she got busy or something. Fast forward a couple hours into the night and we're still talking a little bit so I gave her a little teasing fun about blowing me off, it's 1am and she tells me I can come over, I think to myself okay, I'm not doing anything, she's cute and wants to hang out, fine, so I went over to her place and we watched Netflix, hung out, and pretty much cuddled all night. The next day we hung out all day and I stayed over until late that night, sometimes most times, cuddling is the best hangout. This one still haunts me to this day, I've been really self-conscious ever since, I was about 18 at the time, he was a bit older, oddly enough, we chatted about reddit at first but things gradually moved on to movies, he then asked me to see a movie with him and I was so ecstatic, I don't even remember the movie, but it was just so focused on meeting this guy, it was my only date and I was still a little shocked that it was happening, I arrive a little early wear my favorite dress, my friend helped do my hair beforehand, like it was prom, he pulls up and I'm speechless, still couldn't believe it was happening, he says we go see the movie and I make this funny quip about having to buy tickets first, I waited for him to laugh but he looked genuinely concerned, I thought it was funny but I must have said it wrong, I'm not really great with jokes, in any effort to make up for that blunder I paid for my ticket and I got him some popcorn, I thought that was going to be a turnaround but he says nothing, I got a little worried at this point but it was my first time on a date like this so I just kept going, I'm frantically trying to think of things to get him to say something so I say the first thing that came to mind, I asked what he liked about the movie trailer. Who asks that, he doesn't respond, I've really messed up now, this date is falling apart and I don't know what to do. I was hoping that the movie would lighten things, but it only made it worse, I can't watch it without thinking about him, so I do what they always do on dates, I tried putting my arm on his shoulder, I was desperate to do something, he then immediately says he needs to go to the bathroom and leaves, he's gone for a really long time and I start to get worried, I've never used my phone during a movie but I needed to know that I was just being paranoid, I turn it on and tried cover the light while I texted him asking what was talking so long, I hit send and turn off the screen, while the movie was going on, I'm sat the clutching my phone waiting for him to reply, he never did. I went out to the parking lot and his car was nowhere to be found, I then proceeded to go on reddit and browse dank memes because no one would ever lie on the internet. I met a girl on tinder within an hour of creating an account, after a couple hours of on, off messages, she invites me to a party her roommates are throwing at their flat, after dropping the case of beer I brought upon her opening the door, we hit it off. Less than a week later we took a 500 mile road trip together, things eventually fizzled over a month or two, and ultimately ended when she cancelled on a wedding I'd invited her to with only two days notice, no regrets. A little backstory, a few years ago I was dating this girl and her father really hated me, which was a bit odd, as most parents love me or at least lie about it real well, he was just a huge prick and I always called him on his shit, anyways, her parents got divorced, we broke up a few months later etc etc, fast forward to around a year later, me and girl from tinder were dating for a few months and things were starting to get serious, we're at the point where she wants me to meet her family, mother, stepfather, little sister, why not, 
I have no problems meeting them, let's do it I said, she told me how excited her stepdad was to meet me as it turns out we both happened to be Kansas City Chiefs fans, well, fuck me if it wasn't the same asshole father of my ex-girlfriend. My buddy isn't the smartest man, he picked a chick up and drove to a motel, they were walking into the room and she says, oh shit, I forgot my purse in the car do you mind if I go grab it? He says, yeah that's fine, and tosses her the keys. Five minutes later he walks outside wondering where she is and his car is gone. Edit, for clarification, yes he got his car back, I think the police found it about a week later, I don't think she was ever caught though. If you're in Baltimore swipe in don't let her near your keys, auto zoned.